Now, I'm trying to explain to you what's going on, and most of you are too stupid to understand it. You have no brains whatsoever. Here's an example of a guy, Michael in Las Vegas, who I'm sure does not understand what I'm saying. But oh, go ahead, Michael, go ahead. You're on the show. Well, what has Obama done so far that is making you say that he's a uh, uh, Chavez or wh whoever you're comparing him to? Well, so again, are you stupid, sir? Are you deaf or stupid or both? Let me read it to you again. I, I realize you, you, you may not be able to even hear because your mind is so brainwashed. There's nothing left between the ears. All finance in the country, including banking, insurance, stocks, and bonds and mortgages, shall be under the absolute control of a federal central bank. Do you understand what that means? Yeah. Has he, has he done that? Has he done that? Has he not done that? I'm asking you, has he done that? Has he not done that? I'm asking you, has he not done that? No, he hasn't. Oh, he hasn't? What do you think he has done with the banks by forcing them to take a billions of dollars in loans? What has he done? Well, what, well, what, is what has he done by bailing out AIG Insurance, the largest insurer in, in America, and by yesterday agreeing to give them another $150 billion? What has he done there by taking over the, the major player in the insurance industry? He's trying to save it. If he doesn't do it, what You see, you're a moron. I told you you're too stupid. You don't deserve freedom. You were born to have understand that you're being enslaved. You don't deserve freedom. You don't deserve freedom. I'm only addressing people who understand what freedom is. San Francisco, Steve, welcome to the program. What's on your mind? Oh, hi, Michael. Um, all, all that they are doing, I mean, I think the analogy to Sinclair Lewis is, is specious. It, it, the, the Lewis and Sinclair Lewis talks of a person arising sort of de novo and a government arising and de novo taking over all these controls that you mentioned. These policies began under Bush. They're standard Keynesian economics. Now, you can quarrel that you don't believe in Keynesian economics. Well, you can also, wait, wait, you, you can use all of the long words that you wish, and believe me, I know all of them and then some. But what you're saying is all he's doing is copying what Bush did or continuing what Bush started. Isn't that your argument? He's continuing standard Keynesian. So, in other words, uh, uh, you're saying the two wrongs make a right is what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that at all. It's, it, it, the, the Keynesian calls for a reduction in interest rates and government spending on infrastructure. Yes, but we've had experts on the show who say that this, these policies that you are referring to, uh, John, John Keynes, uh, are a failure. They will not work. You can't argue that by printing money you're going to save the economy, can you? I think it's fair to argue whether one believes in the Keynesian thing, but to invoke it as something out of a, the Sinclair Lewis novel, I think that's unfair to him. Well, well, why? Wait, wait, excuse me. Pardon me, sir. The candidate who arises is a right-winger in this book. And in the first thing, the first thing he does is quote, and I'm quoting now, all finance in the country, including banking, insurance, stocks, and bonds, and mortgages, shall be under the absolute control of a federal central bank. Isn't that more or less 85% of what Obama has achieved? Well, that they have it taken the the, inve the taking over of these banks has been done because the banks were about to go under. So it was a question. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. But there were banks that said they didn't want the the government bailout money. They were forced to take it. Understanding of that was that it was because if certain banks were found to have received it and certain were not, that it could stimulate a run on the ones that did receive them. Well, of course, that's a clever argument. But there are banks that say they didn't want the government money because it came with strings attached, meaning control. Now, the bailing out of AIG, even though that the, the, what, they got $300 billion last October, they blew through it. Now they're giving them another 150. What do you think about that? That's a good idea? No, no. Uh, the, just as Bernanke said the other day, if you listen to his entire period before the Senate, he actually stated, I'm extremely angry. He actually used the word angry twice to describe his feelings about the AIG mess. He, they feel... Wait, 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 you mean he was angry, but he was going to do it anyway? That's a classic setup. When a guy is caught doing something, he says, I really don't want to do this. I hate doing this, but I have to do it anyway. You actually, you don't believe that. You're an intelligent man. It's because of the worry over the cast. The AIG apparently is such a big organization with so many counterparties that would that, it, that they're, they're, they feel trapped into having to do this, otherwise the ripple effect of it dying would be immense. Listen, I think the real issue here is, you know, Obama is an African American, you have a lot of animus toward them because you feel they aced you oh, out. Now you revert, now you're falling back to the racist argument. And that's all you really have at the end of the day, which is any time anyone criticizes this charlatan, this fraud, you're going to revert back to racism. It's not going to work with me.
Maybe it will work with you because you harbor racist feelings. I don't. He touches a raw nerve in your psyche where you felt... Uh, now you're a psychiatrist, Steve. Now that you've lost the argument on the economic level, you're reverting to the, the standard liberal platitude of racism. I'm surprised at you, Stephen. You should know better than that. It doesn't fly anymore. That was used by Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson so much. That boy has cried wolf so many times, no one listens to him anymore, Steve. You should know better than that. Your case, it's brought up all the time. You feel they... Stephen, you know, you know that you're the real racist. When have you last had a person of color to your house, Steve? The issue, you feel they ate... Steve, when did you last have a colored person to dinner, Steve? You, ate, you feel they aced you Steve, out. Steve, when did you last have a colored person to dinner, Steve? You're the white liberal racist. Don't try it on me, Savage. Bubba. Michael.